Okay, before I start, don't click off. This video is very late, I know. This is meant to come out before Christmas, but it ended up getting delayed until now. So, uh, happy New Year's Eve, I guess. Also, a lot of the footage that you'll see, especially when I'm in SteamOS, is tinted like orangey. And that's because I've got the nightlight mode on on my Steam Deck. So, that won't look um, like that when you're in-game. Uh, I've tried my best to color correct it, but obviously it's not perfect. Anyway, enjoy the video. So if you were to go onto your Steam Deck and head over to Sonic Adventure DX if you have it on Steam, you will notice that the game is unsupported, where in actual fact, it works perfectly fine. If you don't know the intricacies, basically this version of the game on Steam is a port of a port of a port. The first original one on the Dreamcast came out in 1999 and then moved over to the GameCube in 2002, I believe. It was then ported to the 360 and PS3 and that was ported to the PC. And all of these ports have a lot of technical debt and it stripped away some of the core fundamental things that were missing in the Dreamcast version. So, I present to you Select the definitive the way to play Sonic Adventure on a Select Steam Deck. Let's get him! Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is put your deck into desktop mode. You can do this by going to the power menu and then clicking switch to desktop. If you have a pin, put it in, and then it'll switch to the desktop. Now that you're here, what you want to do is you want to go into your Steam library and find wherever you have Sonic Adventure. You want to right click it and then properties, and then go to the little box that says the launch arguments. Uh, and you want to copy this little line of code here. Uh, we'll need this later. So it's best to do it now. Place it in, and then you're done with that. Next up, you want to go to the Discover store on your deck and search for Wine Tricks. And then you want to go to the top, or only result actually, uh, Proton Tricks. You can search Proton tick, Tricks, Wine Tricks. It's basically the same thing, just to, like, I just prefer to call it Wine Tricks. And then wait for that to download. Or waiting for that to download, grab the SADX mod installer from sadxmodinstaller.unreliable.network. Uh, link in the description, you can copy and paste it, grab the latest version, and then wait until Proton Tricks has finished installing, and then run with that. Now, when you do open it, you might get an error. This can happen if the game is installed on an SD card. It's literally just a simple fix. It literally tells you what to do. You just copy and paste the command into a terminal, and then you're good to go. SteamOS runs Arch, so you're looking for an app called Console, spelled with a K. That's the default Linux shell that you have for this distro. Um, so once you open it up, there should be a button that says Paste. And then to uh, run the command, you want to press Steam X and then hit R2 to hit the Enter key. Uh, there is a way to like do this, but I forget the command by default. Once you've done that, uh, close and reopen it. And you should see Sonic Adventure DX on this list here. You can see that I don't see it. But when I relaunch the uh, sort of setup wizard, then you will see it on there. So here we go, relaunching it with uh, Proton Tricks. And you'll see that Sonic Adventure DX is on the list. You just select it, hit OK, and then wait for the installer to open up. Might take a while. Um, it took a while for me for some reason. But when it pops up, just go for it as normal as if you were installing mods on Windows. Um, my recommendations are going to be different to yours, so uh, I'm just going to pick what I like. So you have a few options when you're starting off. First check for updates, you want to do that just to grab the latest stuff. Then when you're trying to browse a directory, depending on where you have it installed, it'll be in a different place. So um, if you go to my computer, if you have it installed on your hard drive, it'll be under Z, then uh, Home, and then deck, and then there should be a folder called .steam. Uh, if you've got it installed on an SD card, it'll be different. It'll just be on the root of your SD card. So you go to whatever it is. I think the default letter is E. Um, and then uh, Steam Apps, Common, Sonic Adventure DX. If you're not seeing it on the list, you may have to manually type in the file path like I have to here. I have it installed on an SD card anyway, so I'm going to have to do that manually. 
did a little jump cut just to save you from me typing the whole thing in. So here is the mod installer. You have three different modes. You have guide mode, preset, and custom. And just to note, when running under wine, you won't have the guide option display any images. So you'll have to refer to this little image that I've got up here to go through everything. Um, then once you've done uh, checking what you want, it should begin to download all of your mods and you should be good to go afterwards. This part does take the longest and it is also dependent on your internet connection, so beware of that. Um, you will have a little pop-up window that will pop up, um, as you can see on screen. Uh, that is normal, don't worry about that. That's also part of the install process. Um, when you're done, you'll see the install complete uh, thing. And then from there, there's just one more step. You just need to download the .NET 7.0 runtime for 64-bit windows. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. And also just to note, for those of you with a, a smaller hard drive space, like the 64 gig, there should be a little folder next to the setup that you can delete just to save a little bit of space. And when you go to launch the game, uh, do it in desktop mode first. You want to click Configure Sonic Adventure DX. And depending on what you have installed, you might not have it. This is what you will need to download the .NET 7 runtime. Just click yes and then install it as you normally would a Windows app. Now, sometimes it won't download automatically. There should be a link that says click here to download manually. So click that. And then what you want to do is open where that is and right click, run it with Proton Tricks and then select Sonic Adventure DX, just like you did with the mod loader that you downloaded earlier. And then just go through the install. And once you've done that, exit out of desktop mode and you should be good to go. Once you're back, something really important, you want to go to your settings and then you want to go to compatibility and then force the use of Proton Experimental. Otherwise your UI will just look jank and you won't be able to do the thing. It'll literally just be blackout. Uh, example here. Um, so it would be nice to see what you want to like turn on and off in the mod menu. Um, note to self that you will have to download mods manually and install them manually. Um, going through Game Banana, uh, there's always an option to manually download a mod. You won't be able to do it with the one-click installer. So it's just going to install all of the pre prerequisites. And once it's done that, you should be good to go. And then all you need to do is click save and play. A few known caveats. Firstly, the mod loader will be in the background. You can fix this by just launching the game normally. When you see the splash screen, open up the Steam menu, go down to the mod manager, and then press X to close that window. Also, FMVs will show this little test pattern, but other than that, it works flawlessly. So that's the end of my guide. There are a few recommended mods that you can download. There's an entire two parade spread by Perfect System. Uh, if you look at the Perfect System collection guidebook, there's a two page spread of just mods that you can download. Uh, these are entirely optional, but uh, it's up to you if you want to install them. The link to the guidebook will be in the description below. Um, that marks the end of the guide. Uh, the video isn't over yet, however, I'm just going to go through a few things. So if you are just watching this at a guide and you don't really care about me, it's safe to like just click off, tune off. Thanks for watching. Uh, and I hope you had a happy new year. Um, but speaking of this year, it's been crazy this year. Um, thank you guys for sticking around. Um, I am definitely planning on something quite radical that may like kill my channel. Um, I do want to like do it because I've seen some of the potential that it could bring, but at the same time, it's not quite ready. So look forward to that. Uh, I'll do a proper update video next year, but hey, without further ado, time. sorry this video was so late. It should have been done ages ago. <laughs> Thank you for watching and goodbye.